an adequate coronary sinus venogram uh, isn't as easy uh, as it looks. In this case, the initial coronary sinus venogram was performed using full strength contrast in an 035 lumen balloon, and the only target veins that were apparent were these two small branches, which weren't very promising. So additional uh, angulations were taken, and it appeared that there, uh, there should be something uh, down here in the lateral area. There should be a target vein down there, uh, but nothing was seen. So logically enough, uh, and what often happens is the balloon was brought back to the os of the coronary sinus and inflated uh, in an attempt to see uh, a branch close to the os of the coronary sinus. Uh, and you'll notice in this position the balloon is not completely occlusive and we still don't see any proximal branches. So a proper venogram uh, requires that the balloon is distal enough to be occlusive, that the injection of full strength contrast is a rate sufficient to fill the venous system retrograde, and then the cine run is long enough to see retrograde filling. So seeing that the venogram uh, that we just showed you, um, the fellow had done this, and so I suggested that we put the the balloon more distal and so in order to see proximal target veins uh, with the balloon distal it needs to be fully occlusive you need full strength contrast and you need a long injection with a proper syringe and continued cine until you see retrograde filling and so that's what's going on here we have the balloon distal we're using full strength contrast and we're using uh, an injection syringe, the proper injection syringe. And with that, we now see this proximal branch uh, that turns out to be the target vein. Now it's important to note that the ability to in inject sufficient contrast for proper occlusive venogram requires a contrast injection syringe and a venogram balloon with an adequate lumen. An 035 lumen is much better than an 018 lumen because you can inject the contrast. So in this little picture, you can see that if you use a standard, if you use a, uh, an injection syringe in an 035 lumen, you can inject 120 ml per minute. If you use a regular 10 cc syringe, you can only inject 40 C, 46 ml per minute. If you use a proper injection syringe in an 018 lumen, you're down to half of what you can inject uh, with a larger lumen balloon. And then finally, if you com combine a standard injection syringe with an 018 lumen, you're way down to 30 mLs per minute. So the, I, the, to get the best contrast injection to fill retrograde, it's the ideal situation is to use a proper injection syringe uh, and an 035 lumen. And it can make the difference between a successful implant and a failed implant. So I hope you find this useful.